guys i want to share with you how my balcony is looking like before the makeover this is how my balcony so i'm not going to remove this until i finish painting and then i need to come and scrub i need to clean this is how the tiles are looking you remember this a day scrub these tiles so they have to be funicured by nini by grass carpet and then these are my walls in the balcony so i have already and they hung my clothes to dry so you see it's cream i want to paint this white i want to paint it white because that i know na i'm an cream yapa i think he may go repainted to angalia uko vile meshika vumbi angalia to waki so i i don't know i'm should i just leave it like that but i think it it will be fine for it to be white because in the lighting usiku for whatever i want to do it will be fine if it is white so i'll paint this white paint it white 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 this one's ni kupanguza tu nina nini so this is how like my balcony is looking like simeona this is before makeover msiseme huku tuonyesha hata tujui ilikuwa inakaje this is how it's looking like kinaka vibaya 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 and kasirisha and then this is the light fixture i have out here though even though haina bulbs you see so this is how it's looking and hizi ni nguo zangu tu nimehang na nini so that's how it's looking but i wanted to show you how it's looking before the makeover get out the road i told you a car's coming i stop you you know why always got you you know why always got you yeah. push it to the side even if it means that i die i wouldn't hesitate about it when Guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esperencia Perita, aka Miss It. So, guys, you have already seen how my balcony is looking, my dogosh. Hallelujah! It's not even my balcony. Of course, yes, it is mine. Huh? I'm even ashamed. But I won't be ashamed in the coming few days. You know why? Because I'm gonna give my balcony a full blown makeover. You want to see how that is? Continue staying tuned because today I'm bringing you that makeover. Not to turn around. My balcony makeover series. Number 1 I have mentioned that I would like to paint the walls white. I know white will attract so much dust and everything, but now I'm going to paint matte black. It's not uh, silky or is it silk? Silky or silk? Silk vinyl. I'm not going to paint silk vinyl, the shiny one. I'm going to paint matte white in the balcony, the areas that I can. Or actually where they painted is what I'm going to go over with white. Apart from that, guys, because the tiles i try to clean these tiles and actually completely uh, i i'm trying to get the words to just make sure that it's complete wherever disastrous and everything it refused to be cleaned the tiles they still have stains and everything so it's just like hmm, i'm not gonna kill myself because my tiles did not like i mean it do not look awesome this house people have lived into this house right and they lived here for more i'm told the person who moved out of this house she was here for five years and if the lady did not clean the tiles and everything and i come in and i'm trying to buy these products and they're not working should i kill myself because my balcony is not getting to where i want it to be no what do i do i improvise so that's what i'm doing because my tiles cannot shine cannot look awesome cannot be amazing what do i do i go ahead and buy a carpet grass that's the artificial grass carpet so when i buy the artificial grass carpet i'm actually going to put it actually i think that i can put myself because i don't want it to be permanent there with the glue and everything so i'm just i'm just gonna cut exact measurements for the balcony and put it along it well hard motion after that guys I will obviously need a couch. You understand? Or a swing chair. A swing chair will be in the long run, but for now, for it to be comfy so that my Saturday evenings I can spend there while watching TV in the living room, like I'll be like like this and my TV is over there so I'm I'm watching with my corner eye. You know what I will do? I will make a couch. How do I make a couch? I will buy myself zinetonini pale. 
So if I buy pale pale gikomba, one pale, a big one, is around how much? 500 bob. If I bargain for 50, so I buy three of them. One for the backrest, two to stack on top of each other for it to make a good level for you to sit. You see that? That's brains, my dears. That's brains. <laughs> I know you already thought about that, so yeah. So when I buy that, I put out there, I will now go ahead back to Gikomba, buy the cushioning. So I will just measure, see which kind of cushion I need for both sitting and back. So for the sitting, I'll buy the hardest one. And then the fabric, don't you worry, I'm not buying the fabric. I will get to that. So I buy the cushion, Yakuka, Nayanyuma. And then for the back one, I also have extra pillows, the major Kuko guest guest bedroom so i will get all those pillows and bring them to my balcony you see recycling at its best right so this will actually be a makeover on a budget you see and then after that guys another thing you will ask me why are you putting so much work everything to your balcony and dust will come in i don't know it will be raining no 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 mm -mm. we are getting there this is the best part about that guys you know what i will do I am going again to Gikosh. Maybe it might be the same day or a different day. I'm going to get bed sheets. You know those light kind of bed sheets? Like Zilis and Yeuneza on the other side, but white. If I don't get those ones, I'll get opaque. The ones that, is it opaque or translucent? The one that you could actually see with light coming from the other side, but you can't figure out what is on the other side that kind of cut mini of bed sheets so i know there i will get a bed sheet one bed sheet maybe at 250 or even a hundred or whatever whichever the size you know and this is just like in nila kuenda kutafuta uko gikomba uko ndani si ya kuenda kupewa the zimehang in ya kuenda kutafuta and make sure that they don't have stains at all i will bring them in by fabric softener by jig and i will try to make sure that all of them are of the same color so for my balcony i think i might need around six six if maybe they are four by six but if i get six by six size i only need like four and when i get them i'm gonna buy a rope and hooks so i'm gonna petition rope and hooks all through the ceiling here ceiling your balcony i'm gonna petition all that all the way after that i'm gonna like go to the fundi and kunjia uh, uh what is the name let me use my shear i go to the fundi to do something like this so that the rope can pass through you know i hope you understand what i'm saying so when the rope passes through the cut the, the the those mini okay i will call them i will call them the curtains because at this point they're now curtains they're no longer bed sheets <laughs> you understand this means they're no longer bed sheets they're now officially curtains so i take my my home bed or my home thoughts the curtains to my balcony in a petition. I organize them in a way that light will still come into my living room. Like in the evening, maybe I want to sit on this side. I buy the nini zile curtain holders. I just buy them. Then I will go to the fundi and I'll say, Okay, the fundi is now like a curtain holder. I just place. So they will have curtain holders. They will be fully made. They won't interfere with light coming into my living room. Like my balcony will be. It will be the real deal, guys. Especially when you want to just sit out there and make noise and love the weather and everything. Because I realize, Mchana, my house is really cold. Whilst, uh, when, when you go to my balcony, because their house is supposed to be a team, like you hit your in a camp balcony. So sometimes I tend to go and sit on my balcony. But now that sina kiti sina nini, I have to carry my nini, my poof, inje, tena nirudi nayo. I don't want something like that in the near future. So that's why I'm making it. I'm actually purposing to have my balcony be somewhere you can just walk there, sit, sleep during the day there, or taking a nap if you wish, and just have awesome, awesome stories, watch movies from my balcony. And you're going to ask, Sasa usiku utakaji yako na una bulbs kwa light fixture yako. One, I'm going, to put, I'm going to put bulbs in my light fixture. Two, I am also going to buy, you know, those bulbs that are weatherproof, like whether it rains, the sun is too hot, they don't break, they are awesome. I have seen them on A Thousand Bob or Less, and I've also seen them on House of Leather. So I'm going to buy at least like two rolls, because I know at the end of each one of them, you can extension on a dungilia for another connection, if it still has more for power. So I'm going to get them with a the, sizable bulb, something like this, and then a long rope. 
So hiyo long rope ni dunga kwa stima alafu unaenda ukizungusha okay, around my grill, my grill. Let me call it grill. Hapo kwa balcony yo grill lazima tizungusha the whole balcony. But now because people usually put it juu, for me I don't want that attention from neighbors and everything. So I put hapa kwa rail na chini. I don't know if you understand this matter. I'll find a picture and insert here so that you see my science and my thinking and my wherever. <laughs> so yeah. So basically what I'm saying is when I buy that rope that light drop i will put it up on grill grill up chini remember i will already have my curtains up there nitakuwa already na grass carpet kama vipi nitakuwa nimeshaunda couch yangu kwa one of the corners right and then on the other side and you know it was disgusting and kuna kavi mbaya i will try ni subuni ni subuni subuni kama vipi nikisubua 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 hiyo kusubua si tena subua ndio ilifae i'm just like na subua ndio it look presentable you know so that ni kileta mtoko balcony yangu asione ai wena wewe nyumba ina kama zile balcony ni madogosh you see so for my balcony on that side i want to bring in artificial plants mimi si niliwaambia living plants they have broken my heart even more than boyfriends have broken my heart i'm joking so at living plants for me i think it's a no cause <coughs> sai what i'm concentrating on is i want like to explore i want like before i hit 30 and it's not like i'm hitting 30 any time soon cuz i'm about to turn what 28 i'm about to turn 28 so when i hit 30 is when i will be like okay now can bring in plants and everything you know to just like make sure i am home sometimes but for now zombie ya kambili zimebaki i want to travel as much as i can so artificial plants all the way so I'm bringing in artificial plants on the other side so I'll buy the white rocks I will make a tiny fence and bring all kind of artificial plants that I can get I will buy them all types zenye bora zitakuwa zinakadisha balcony yangu vizuri I'll buy and bring them near organized in one corner so that the balcony can have some aspect of greenery because actually the side that I want to put the green you've seen it has blue tiles you see so if I bring in the green the artificial green colors apple itaka amazing amazing so as you can see those are those are some of the uh, plants i have for my balcony and for the, for my balcony i don't even need a lot of money my balcony i know if i have around 10 years i am like the balcony is coming through cause lights 1000 1000 billion 2000 hizo nini zinatoaje bed sheets bed sheets i might i might it depends with the day i might even get one for 100 bob so who knows so and then the grass carpet 2500 i already measured and asked 2500 and what else artificial plants is at 200 300 kubwa moja 1000 sijua 600 like you see like i have all this figured out i just have to find a perfect weekend ama ningoje holidays not zile wale za tambo zile zinakuja katikati ya wiki nikae chini niamue kama mbaya mbaya but i need weekend so that i can go to gikosh on saturday early morning nitafute nitafute hizo zote za nataka ni buy hizo sponges and everything i come na pale ni organize and everything but apart from that guys that is how i'm looking my balcony to be looking in the next couple of days cause I just have to get like I have uh, for now I have little money that I can go buy the bed sheets and that facial plants cause this is Kopale nini Pale stage market you know that place I can go there and buy apple plants artificial plants are really really affordable and the white stones pays go up a 100 per kg so I think that is something I can start before I get now the remaining 5000 to go and buy the pale and everything but who knows I could actually like decide that buy them together but this is the plan i have for my balcony i can't actually wait to show you my balcony after it's done cause you guys you will love it so guys that's all i wanted to share with you for my balcony and from me this piece and i'm out i'll see you guys on the next one